So I fixed the wheel bearing in the in the truck. Um, I had it on the road, have it on the road for a couple weeks now or something like that. But I don't, I don't know. I'm not good with time frames. Never have been. But um, yeah, my tailgate came off one day while I was working. Um, came out on brake and I'm like, oh, my my tailgate was it was just uh, it was on, but it was just like kind of just barely hanging off the side here and <laughs> so I uh, I just took it off and threw it in the back and uh, you know waited at the end of the day clocked out went home and uh, kind of just threw it over there because um, <laughs> you can see here that this side right here is still kind of good but it's like completely missing over here and yeah it's not going back on there. I mean, there's this. <laughs> so that's the thing. The other side's more, a bit more solid. Not going nowhere. This side's. <laughs> Which I read an article lately, uh, recently, like a week or so ago, that said that uh, Ford was doing something different with their beds to make, to help make sure they don't rust out like that anymore. So we'll see how that goes. But well, that would be nice. Uh, I bought a new sticker for it too. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, the truck now has a, it's got a check engine light on, um, which I believe is uh, just because of a vacuum leak. And I say that because it, it idles hard sometimes. Um, and well, it idles hard often, and sometimes it stalls, but it always fires right back up again. So I'm pretty sure it's a vacuum leak because it's a it's kind of a common problem on these trucks anyway, from what I understand. Um, so I'm gonna be trying to sell it sell it for 1,500. Uh, I got a coworker and his woman that are interested in it. So. And if they aren't, I'll just sell it to somebody else. It doesn't really matter, but uh, runs and drives fine still, um, despite the vacuum leak. Um, Four-wheel drive works, but you gotta put it in neutral, kinda play with it to get it pop in or out or for, for low. Um, so that's about it, as far as the update in this truck goes. Um, I haven't done anything with the van uh, because I'm at crossroads with it. I'm not like it's mostly for sentimental reasons uh, why I want to fix it. You know, my grandma's van. And I don't know if it's really worth saving or not. Uh, it's kind of way back into my mind. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know yet. So that's just gonna continue sitting for a little bit until I figure something out with that but I did go and pick up this truck <laughs> uh, it's a 93 Chevy half ton it's it's uh it's 13 years older and it's got 30,000 more miles on it but it drives better and the old 150 does, but that's been beat up a lot more too, so that doesn't really say much. But yeah, 13 years older, got 30,000 more miles on it, and uh, a lot less rusty. <laughs> it's actually got a working tailgate. Um, picked this one up for uh, 14. Um, four wheel drive works. Um, remember yeah the, this truck um, guy put a CV radio in it and I had no radio because of it so I'm not sure what he did with the wiring but he did something there um, CB radio works fine just got no radio which is a bummer and then like there's the interior is a little bit wonky but it's not too bad it's like it's okay I mean it's an old truck so 
a truck for an old dude. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, uh, you know. This is my second 93 I, I've had. And uh, this is kind of cool to have a vehicle that's just as old as you are. <laughs> 28. 28 year old truck. 28 year old dude. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Although, like, having, you know, the, uh, the touch screen Bluetooth radio is nice. It'd be nice to have both the CB and the, and the Bluetooth, but it's not really compatible. I would have to get something different set up. And I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day I'll get a radio in here. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that's a little update video because I know I haven't posted in, in a while. Um, other than that, uh, still working on life. Slow uh, progress at all, but that's about all I have right now. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching.